All right, so I play a different game every day. And so I get the questions every once in a while. What games are you looking forward to? So I have I have created a list. And this list is limited to, even though it's a giant list, to city builders that I'm looking forward to. There's a lot of them. And these are games that are... No, all these games are games that are not out yet. And I thought we'd start with the one... Uh, with the big one. Manor Lords. Medieval city building... Grand style, gridless. You also have giant armies in there as well. This is one that a lot of folks have been looking forward to. Um, in addition to what's something I I didn't realize at the very beginning uh, when I first played the demo of this is this was originally a solo dev thing. Of course, it's grown from there. Um, it's supposed to be coming out here on April twenty sixth, and I do have a video of the demo going on there. But Mana Lords is one that uh, is, I suppose, like the the next step in like the banished style medieval city builders. Plus, all the fighty bits that you'll get to do as well. If you're looking for like a medieval city builder, this this is the one that comes out April. Hopefully, it'll be good. Uh, none of these are are officially out yet. So there's a few demos in here that I've played, but that's number one, Mana Lords, Frostpunk two. I don't really know much about uh, Frostpunk 2. I played Frostpunk 1 a lot. It was one of my favorite like city builders that I played over the past few years. Um, from what I can tell, the difference with Frostpunk 2 uh, is we've got like it's a bigger scale. We also have districts in the game. If you didn't play Frostpunk 1, uh, it's all sort of built around this frozen earth, and um, you've got this this like central heating core. Uh, that you have to sort of build your town around. Also send folks out on expeditions, and it's, a, it's a definitely a survival and gritty, and they put a big emphasis on, like, the morality, which is what they're showing there, like the morality system of what do you do with kids, what do you do with the dead, all that kind of stuff, and it seems like they've even gone even further in that direction with, they're going even further in that direction with Frostpunk 2, which is coming out here, and somewhere in the first half 2024 is what they have, what they have listed for their uh, their release date on this one. We've got End Zone 2. Again, sticking with the big names. End Zone 1. It is this sort of post apocalyptic city builder, uh, survival colony builder where the world's kind of terrible and, and all messed up, and your job is to build a town and, and bring it back. Um, this one is coming out in the summer of 2024. Also has sort of that gloomy feel to it. Well, there you go. Gloomy with the words falling apart. Um, End Zone 1 was great. And uh, it really did a good job of, like, giving you that, that a proper post-apocalyptic feeling, like you're feeling like um, you needed to uh, uh, survive. We've got Settlements Rising next on the list. This is also a medieval settlement builder. There's a demo out for this one, which I have played before, played actually pretty recently. Uh, this one focuses more on its grid system, and it faces, focuses more on the... Um, the like uh, uh, the trade and exploration. Uh, this is by Catalyst Crew. Sorry for to mention who the other developers were. Uh, this is coming out in 2024. Um, I don't have a date on that one. Quarter one, 2024. Uh, it also has this system with like cards that you can enhance certain buildings with it. Um, and I remember mentioning um, like the the cards like will enhance like it's sort of like um, um, like if you build a mine, you can add a card to it to make the mine work better. Uh, that sort of a thing. But uh, they also mentioned simulated villagers in here, where it's supposed to be the villagers are working multiple jobs and, and all that. And um, I played the demo. I liked the demo quite a bit. So I'm eager to see what what the um, the full game uh, gives us, or early access gives us. Another one on the list that I have played before is Lesara Summit Kingdom. This one is building a city on a mountain, on the side of a mountain. And where... I say building a city, building multiple cities on the side of a mountain. So you've got like each zone on this mountain is a different biome, and so each biome does better a better job at doing different things. So you get like the farming town, you get the mining town, you've got the city center town or whatever, um, and you also have to connect all those production chains, sort of set up with this one. Uh, and yeah, sometimes things fall apart like that, and and you have to rebuild or whatever. Um, and uh, this one is coming out here early 2024, so it should be here soon. I think there's a demo. Yeah, there's a demo out there right now on Steam. This is by Quite OK Games. Build your settlements in high mountains. Production chains, 
three caste society. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. So there's a different caste system within the game as well. Yeah, so this one's uh, looking pretty neat. Republic of Pirates. Anytime there's a pirate game, I'm there. This one almost... At first glance, it looks like a like, kind of like an Anno or like a Tropico kind of blending. Um, and you're gonna grow, we're going to grow a pirate utopia. This is by Crazy Goat Games. Um, Resource-based, Anno-like. Uh, and also engage in real-time naval combat. So not only are we building a town, but we're also building boats and sending the boats out to conquer islands. And smack our enemies around, I guess, a bit. I'm not sure if we actually build multiple towns or if we just take those things and maybe get some trade going there, but it's kind of got that blending of town builder and shooting. There's Republic of Pirates. Uh, comes out when? Sometime 2024. Beyond These Stars is about the same folks that made Before We Leave. I guess this is sort of like the next step. I guess this is after we leave. Uh, uh, we're on a space whale, and in addition to building a town on this space whale, we are also uh, sort of like terraforming the back of this space whale. This is by Balancing Monkey Games, and uh, published by Hooded Horse, which you'll hear Hooded Horse a few times uh, in this list. And uh, so, you know, we are uh, building a town on the back of this guy. We're also trying to, like, keep the, uh, uh, the whale content as we travel far and wide. Terraform the land around you to better suit your needs. And also, um, try to keep the whale happy, I suppose. This one comes out, uh, this year, sometime. Yeah, Hooded Horse, and there's another one we'll get to in a second that Hooded Horse is publishing also, which is also, uh, on my list. Next up, we've got Kaiser Punk. How many different games can we have with the word punk in it? Well, I add one more to the list. Kaiser Punk is a, a city builder and grand strategy combo. So not only are we building a city, but we are also like, there's a there's a sort of world map thing, that part of the video show yet, um, where we're building a town, but also dealing with different provinces and going to like war and alliances and all that stuff is in there. Did we pass that part? I think we did. Um, back here somewhere. Um, somewhere in here, let me show you. There we go. Like that. And so, not only are you, like, dealing with your town, you're also dealing with the the grand strategy bit. So, it's, it's, a, it's a town builder, but then it sort of starts inching its way into that part of the game. This one comes out 2024. That's what we have for that list. So, okay, uh, 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 city builder, grand strategy, hybrid. Next up, we have Earth of Orin. This is on my list... And I've been watching this for quite a while, simply because of how it looks. It's a a, um, a city-building strategy game set in the medieval world, filled with story and heart, they say. You start with nothing, build yourself a kingdom, uh, but look at it. This is by the developer called Earth of Orin, and Strayfon is publishing this one. Um, it says Choices Matter uh, is also in the list. I mostly it's uh, sort of... Build your build your town and 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 slowly uh, develop the, the lands around it. I don't see any sort of like world um, traveling things, but also some some uh, terraforming bits in there as well. But yeah, just uh, just the look of this one is why I, the the dev shows uh, bits of um, of this one as as they've been developing on on Twitter. I've been keeping a close eye on this one. Comes out uh, quarter two of, of this year. Man, look at that. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, next up we've got Folklands. I played Folklands. I played a demo of Folklands. Uh, this one, so all along on the Steam page here, it mentions it is a, uh, a relaxing settlement builder with simulated citizens. Kind of has that old-timey look to it. Um, I remember playing the demo of this one, and there was nothing relaxing about it, because that kept happening. Everything was burning. So I'm not sure how relaxing it, it, it is, but um, as relaxing as your neighbor's house burning. But uh, the it, it has kind of that, that 90s feel to the old tiny city builder style, I think. It was by Romantic Games, published by Tribal Storm, and coming out... We don't know when, uh, but there's a demo out there. So coming out soon, I do believe. Okay, next. 
We have Metropolis, 1998. This is a list of city builders. And I have... I've been playing city builders since the original SimCity. And... I love the old timey kind of look to, to city builders, um, I like those those styles. And and in addition to that, I love The Sims. And the thing about The Sims that I like is I like making multiple people in multiple houses. This one, you not only build the uh, the town um, like a city builder, but you also like build each individual building. And so if you want, you, you can just put down whatever. But you can also build like like you put the bookcase in the place, you put the table in the kitchen, and you build you build all of those buildings. If you want, and so I guess it's kind of a slow, a slow-paced kind of a, um, I guess it can be slow-paced or fast-paced. I don't think the uh, the videos show much much of the building in here. It's just sort of traffic. Uh, we'll see if we can find some pictures in here though. That show a little bit more. Ooh. Everything's customizable. The fence, everything is customizable. And so you start out by with like nothing. Like you're building a house in The Sims, but then that house is just one house among thousands. If I guess if you want to get to. In, in the town eventually. And so you're making a... It's a proper town builder. Coming out by Yesbox Studios. Coming out sometime. Uh, there is a demo here now. On the uh, Steam page as well. And... Um, yeah, that's all I got. There's Metropolis 1998. Next. Uh, next up. We're going to go start with our... Uh, our Rome fix. So we got, we got a list of things... Roman style, and this, this is number one. Uh, this is this is what they are touting is historically accurate buildings by Roger Grassman, and uh, building the building a Roman town, and build up a prospering city, take care of your citizens, trade, build impressive monuments, hire advisors, uh, and they are emphasizing all through the scene page that this is historically accurate buildings, historically accurate things. There's a historian working on it, um, so if you want to like a proper Roman town. That appears to be what they are trying to go for. Plus, um, they got giant maps. You may have seen the one there before, where um, you can settle the northern borders of the empire from Britannia to Dacia, it says. And you're thinking, you know what? I need more Rome. Oh, we got Nova Roma. Nova Roma, uh, that one, by the way, is coming out in 2024. Nova Roma is by the folks that made Kingdoms and Castles. This is their Roman version of it. Why aren't you playing? Thank you. Um, and um, it's Kingdoms and Castles, Roman style. If you haven't seen Kingdoms and Castles, build a town. Looks like that. Uh, there is some disasters in this one that weren't in Kingdoms and Castles. Look, it's telling you all the stuff I'm telling you. What am I doing here? Um, comes out 2024. And I think I think pretty soon, I do believe, is what I, what I saw. And um, you know, what's, what's wrong with old Rome? <laughs> Roman. Kingdom castles, lots of floods and fires. There's Jupiter. We're still in Rome, so we are now in Roman Triumph, survival city builder. This one is kind of got that. This they they say in the uh, on the scene page it is a mixture of banished and kingdom and castles. Um, and you're gonna see here in a second something else that's gonna kind of stand out for a minute. It almost feels a little bit more like. Almost like a little bit of they are billions, where you've got a like like a town defense thing as things are going to come swarming at you in a second. Things like if I can cue there, there it is. That guy. That's why it's on my list. That guy right there, plus the armies and all that. This is by Core Effect Interactive, and it's coming out sometime this year. Um, survival city builder, colony sim, inspired by banished kingdoms and castles, Roman. You're thinking, you know what? I've had enough Rome. Let's go to Florence. Florence. This one is not a medieval city builder. It is a Renaissance city builder. It's also a mission-based, a mission-based city builder. So it's going to be more. Um, I don't know if they're going to have a sandbox mode, but it's going to be. I think a big part of this is going to be dealing with the the plague is hitting the Black Plague, um, and, and dealing with that, and the the um, trying to rebuild a city decimated by the Black Plague and civil unrest. Um, and it's coming out quarter one. So coming out pretty soon here, 2024. If you want to, uh, strange name, Historic City Florence. But you want to go build Florence? There you go. You're like, you know what? Rome, too far south. You're not done with Rome yet. You're thinking, man, that's enough Roman games. Not yet. We are now going to Citadellum. <laughs> Look at that guy. Uh, this is a city builder set in legendary ancient Rome uh, in 
ancient mythical Rome. This is by the folks that made one military camp. Remember that one came out uh, last year, two years ago, last year, something like that. Um, we've got the town we, that we make here, which uh, um, which then we go back to, there we go, there we go to the uh, world map. And there's also combat in here, which has like um, uh, a little bit of a, like a centurion kind of a look to it. It'll show it here in a second. And uh, it comes out 2024. And this one's by Abilite Studios. There's some training, and there it goes, some fighting, and now it goes into... It looks like Centurion, doesn't it? I love Centurion. There. So, uh, it also has this sort of mytho mythological thing going on with these fellows uh, <laughs> diving onto your town. Um... There we go. C uh, Citadelum is the name. Uh, okay, so you've had enough. You're like, you know what? I can't take any more Roman stuff. Let's go east. You can go all the way east to Greece. For ancient Polis. We're in ancient Greece. 2,600 years we're going back in time. And we're building a Greek town. Yeah, the hero land. You see that? Uh, so we're going to build a... Uh, it, it's it's uh, uh, sort of this... Sandbox, city builder, ancient Greece style. Uh, this is still pretty early on. It says it's coming out this year, 2024. Um, we're laying the foundations of the first democracy. Listen to your people and help them with their groundbreaking, groundbreaking inventions. Um, it also says don't mess, with, don't mess with the gods as if it has kind of like a Caesar thing to it. Remember the gods and Caesar and Pharaoh and all those. Um, kind of has that. It's giving me those kind of uh, feelings. I'm going to look at this one. We're going to look at Thrive. Heavy Lies the Crown, which I have played a bit of. And I'll be playing a bit of this one soon as well. Coming out, there's going to be a demo here for the Steam Next Fest. This is a, um, a city builder where you kill your moral choices of the town. It's one of those moral choice focused city builders. and uh, But that also like decides like how the town looks. And so you have this like happy town with pretty buildings. Are you going to have this not so happy town with not so happy buildings? There we go. Look at her lazing around with a book relaxing. You can have that kind of a town or you can have that kind of town. See, he doesn't have a book. He's not relaxing. Neither are they. Uh, this is uh, by Zugaloo Entertainment and um, we have uh, uh, yeah, multiple places. There's also sort of RTS combat in there as well, which I think we'll see here in a second uh, as we are sort of like exploring each of these zones or conquering each of these, each of these zones on the map are different tribes that we can conquer and expand and all that. And you can have multiple towns. You can have one town in one spot, and you have other towns in others. And there's also this um, horse and pig killing force out there. Crystals. Never get your crystals next to your horses or your pigs. Mess mess them up. This one comes out here, though. Uh, this year, demo will be here very... Actually, demo will be here uh, February 5th. A few of these will have demos on the next fest. Which I thought was probably a good idea to get this thing out uh, in time for that. Next up, we got a Vertical Kingdom. I have a dem I have a video on this one as well. Um, on this one, we are building a vertical kingdom. Uh, it is is by Farlight Games Industry uh, coming out this year? There's a demo out there already. That was a quick video. More videos? Nope, we just got pictures. And on this one, we're gonna we've got cards. It's kind of a card puzzly based thing where you're gonna use those cards to build certain buildings, try to build up um, or sideways, and get points and money. That kind of thing. But there's a Vertical Kingdom. Next. I think we're about halfway through. You've made it this far. Pat yourselves on the back. Let's go look at Synergy. Synergy? I just played a couple nights ago, the demo of it. Um, th so this is one of those where like the, the world is terrible. Uh, a hostile planet. And so you have to build a town dealing with that. But the thing about this one is just look at it. Well, once we get out of this menu here, look at it. That's what we're. Uh, that's that's what uh, catches my eye with this one. So again, survival. You got to go like explore and discover the plants, figure out how to use the plants, and then turn those plants into buildings, um, and also try to keep your people happy and not sick from all these um, strange alien things out there. Thank you, Master Lith. And this one's by Leakier, Likeier Studio, published by Goblins coming out quarter one 2024 should be out here pretty soon the demo there will be a demo here in a couple days for this one as well next we have airborne empire so these are folks that made airborne kingdom 
a couple years ago, a few years ago, where we're building a town, uh, a flying town. Let me get you a bigger picture here so you can see what's going on. Uh, so you, you go, you uh, you build your town. You, you're trying to balance the town as well, make sure the town's light enough so that it can fly. You got to go to different points to get resources, and you send down your scouts or whatever to go and and mine the stuff on the ground. Uh, you got things flying around trying to shoot you as well. Um, this one is taking that airborne kingdom and and building it even a little bit bigger with airborne empire coming out quarter two, 2024 by the Wandering Brand, published by Strayfon. And ooh, look at that. Uh, but yeah, so flying around this sort of op it's like an open world city builder. That's probably the the, the tagline there for this one. And um, in addition to like building that town, you got to like you got to go from different biomes around the map and and get your resources to build onto your flying town. Coming out soonish. Next up, we've got Norland. This one also published by Hooded Horse. Developed by Long Jaunt. I think when I did the... I uh, played a demo on this one. I've got a video for this one. Um, coming out uh, sometime later this year. I don't think it has a, a date on this one. Uh, I, I think but this one... I, this is like RimWorld meets Crusader Kings. Where you're not necessarily... You're not dealing with your entire town. You're just dealing with the nobles. And trying to manage where people work. And the families in the town. Um, in addition to that... Building the town. Keeping people happy. Keeping the, the money going. And making sure people, the, the commerce is working. Um, you're also dealing with stuff on the world map and dealing with other empires out there, other factions out there trying to uh, take you down. And there's like um, a very like story driven is, is the, the key word that I have written down here for myself. Um, story focused colony sim. And um, yeah, there's some of that too. But uh, uh, yeah, there's some, there's some of that too. Uh, and are you give me a world map? Everyone can relax. Yeah, sometimes things are good. Well, there's some of that. <laughs> there's some of that too. <laughs> um, well, uh, there's some of that too. Um, yeah, so you just control the noble family in the town, not everyone else, just the noble family. And then you can go on the world map. You can send out, you send out your envoys. Uh, you can go to, you can fight. Um, and so that's where the Crusader Kings bit comes comes into this one as well. And look at that. So yeah, yeah, they're taking the sort of the the next the next medieval step in a RimWorld like like thing. Check that out. I just want to watch the video. Okay. Enough blood for one video. Maybe a little more. Okay. Okay. There you go. That'll, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> okay. Next up, we've got Starfall Protocol. You know what you thought? Okay. I'm not here for uh, for RimWorld Medieval. I'm here for more RimWorld Spaceships. Starfall Starfall Protocol is a starship colony sim with RPG adventures. So we build a spaceship, we have a colony as a spaceship, but we're going to go to different planets and explore those planets. And and that's where the, I guess, the RPG parts come into here. Um, I am very in interested in seeing how this one plays out. This is by Chaos Systematic. Uh, it does not have a release date. But we have millions of explorable planets, they say. Build your starship, guide your colony through the mysteries of space, travel the galaxy, and explore millions of star systems and planets. And then that guy with a big hammer. There is some some dev videos of this one as well, so you can see a little bit more of this one if you want to uh, look at that one. But uh, I'm intrigued by the by the traveling around, exploring things. We've got Super Fantasy Kingdom. This one. Um, I have a demo of. Uh, this is what, where, where we've got sort of like this daily cycle. Where you start out during the day, you build your town up, slowly build your town up. Uh, and well, meanwhile, all these terrible things are, are slowly coming coming at you. Um, so you're trying to balance building your town, exploring the, the world around you, also while building an army that can defend the things that are slowly bouncing their way towards you. Um, not, not incremental, but it almost sort of has a little bit of that feeling to it. I remember this is one that I played the demo of Thinking I'd play for like 30 minutes or so. I ended up playing for a long time. Uh, this is by Ferias Beer. And also published by Hooded Horse. A roguelite city builder. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, defeat hordes of monsters with a unique team of defenders. And also build your town up. Get cash. Add more things to the, uh, to the swarm. This one comes out in 2024. There is a demo on Steam for this one as well. Hello, Draven. And yeah, things get a little hairy after a while. Okay. 
Next up, we have Lemmings Meets, a city building game with the settlings. This is by Ariano. Um, there is a demo on Steam right now for this one. Uh, it was uh, as as it sounds. You've got these little workers. They sort of they walk one direction, uh, and you'll get you'll make tools. Like you'll give them a, an axe, and the next time he goes to a tree, he chops it down. That's how you get wood. And so it's this this sort of resource dealing with game mixed with a Lemmings city builder, a kind of puzzly uh, kind of a thing where you're trying to reach a goal by the end. See the dragon up there. And um, there's a demo on Steam. I played this some. I did a video on this one as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. The uh, the dev sent me an email saying, "Hey, I got a new, I got a new um, I got a new demo out. I really want to check it out, but I really want to wait for like just like the the early access release before I before I play it again. So as soon as that comes out uh, this year, I believe soon, we'll check that one out. Okay, we're I suppose we're in the home stretch. Humanica is the next one. Now we're going prehistoric. This is a primitive city builder." Simulation game of, of ancient settlement, featuring a vast technolo technology development. We're going to start from journey from sticks to stones, sticks and stones, to iron tools and windmills. By Pen Frash Dev, coming out sometime. It doesn't have a date, and um, it is a it is a a colony builder, but ancient style. And apparently, we can go around the world and do some exploring and whatever. City builder style. Trade with neighbors. Take out the mammoths. Look, it has a lot of combat in it as well. So anyway, that that's that's been on my list for a while. Something I've been trying to keep an eye on. We have of life and land. It used to be called Circle of Kurzavin. It changed its name recently. Um, there is a demo out for this one over here on Steam, and coming out this year, 2024. Um, it is a, you're going to, not only are you going to do one settlement, you're going to have multiple settlements. There's different biomes on the map and you're going to control multiple settlements, which I thought was kind of interesting when I played the demo of this one. Um, I'm used to seeing these, you'll build your town, you go trade with the neighbors, you know, and, and then you're done. This one, you build your town and then you can go to the other town and you actually, you can actually play the other town. And so you'll discover these towns, but you'll also be able to like play that town. So you'll have a whole map worth of, of settlements that you can bounce around to. And I think you'll trade with those other settlements as well in here. Kind of a cozy a cozy kind of thing. Not a lot of uh, terrible things happening on this one. Speaking of terrible things... Darfall. No, sorry, the game's not terrible. <laughs> Just a, I probably worded that proper, improperly. <laughs> so this one, you've got a hostile land, there's terrible things out in the world. You build your castle. You start out with nothing, you know, and you kind of work your way up into building a castle. And there's spooky things out in the world. Waves of them will come in and start chomping on your uh, your wallless town if you don't have a wall already. Um, and this one is being developed by Square Knight. And uh, there is a demo on Steam as we speak. But yeah, build your base, defend your base. Things are out there in the world. Go explore, find new bits. Eventually, scary things come out and start to chew on you. And uh, I don't have a date on this one other than just 2024 for this one. But yeah, you can see, and then the things come trying to chomp on you. I do have a video of the demo of this one as well. Next up, we've got Abyssals. All this this uh, land building cities is so last year. Now we're going underwater. Abyssals is by Overpowered Team and published by Shiro. An underwater city builder with uh, if in the dark depths of an inhospitable planet. Uh, somewhere along the, uh, the page here as I was reading it. You build your town, everything seems peaceful, but then there's spooky things out there. And so spooky things will come and try to chew on your town. And uh, I suppose you don't really want that to happen. Lights go out. Spooky things. Excellent. They lurk in the darkness beyond our beacon's reach, it says. So there you go. Underwater builder. Uh, it says 2023. Um, we will see if this one actually comes out. That's a little old. Hopefully. We'll see something. Yeah, that was, that was a good reveal with the red eyes. Hopefully we'll see more with that one. Uh, next up, we got Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles. Uh, demo is here. This one actually has a date. This one is coming out March 26th. Uh, I have on my list here, I have islands and zeppelins with RTS combat. So you've got a bunch of islands. You're going to build up on those islands, which you just kind of showed you there. Uh, but you're also building 
a like a fleet of zeppelins that you're going to use to go and kind of fly around the place. Uh, these bulwark is kind of a, there's like a or falconeer chronicles is kind of a whole franchise, and um, this is their their like their city building um, thing by Thomas Sala, Wired Productions, um, coming out in seven weeks, March twenty sixth. Um, open world builder with freedom and expression at its core. Build sprawling towns, fortresses, and then you go and build up your army and go charge out into the world. We've got United Penguin Kingdom. I put this on the list because it's, uh, I played the demo of this one. I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, city building game with penguins. Interesting. By Turquoise Revival Games. It certainly doesn't take itself, itself too seriously. And so not only are we building a town of penguins, we also have the evil seals and killer whales trying to chomp on us. And uh, so we're going to build a town. We're also going to build some defense towers and things to try to keep those things from chomping on our cute little penguin flippers. Um, there you go. Catching fish with their nets like penguins do in real life. Turning wheels just like real life. Cloning. I'm not sure what's going on. What's going on there? But there is United Penguin Kingdom. Uh, it is. Um, it's coming out this year. There is a demo out for this one as well. There's those evil seals and killer whales chomping on your stuff. Yeah. So there is United Penguin Kingdom. Uh, the demo is called like um, Huddle Up. That's what the demo is called. Uh, you're thinking, you know, Penguin Kingdom. What is this? Is this cute time? Okay. So Night is Coming is the next one, and this is not cute time. This is spooky time. Where uh, it's survival game, building a town in in this dark fantasy world. You've got spooky Slavic mythology is sort of the theme here, and you've got these things out there in the darkness, and they're going to come and they're going to chew on things, just like those killer whales in the last one, especially that guy. Uh, this one does not have a release date, but at night is when the swamp banshees, werewolves, uh, night nurses, whatever a night nurse is, that's when they come out. And then you have to fight them off. And it looked like, um, I think it shows it here. There's like like proper like RPG looking fighting bits, bits maybe RTS style. Um, yeah, that. So it might be more RTS style. But you're going to build it. So you, it's a survival builder. We're going to build a town and then defend from those things as they, as they come and chew on you. Coming out by Wild Forest Studio this year. Next up, we've got Celestial Empire. This one comes out uh, March of this year. There is a demo out. This is a, a ancient Chinese city builder. It's very pretty. I saw um, I saw, I saw the warehouse. Um, this is by President Studio, um, published by Playway, and uh, it's basically just a pretty city builder. You build, a, build a Chinese town. There's not much as far as like um, overworld stuff or or combat. It's just a, you know what, just sit back, make yourself a town. And have some tea or something. This one's coming out here in March. Uh, and there's a demo out there. And I have a video. Because I have a video on everything. But there you go. There is Celestial Empire. Uh, I think I played the, the demo of this. The, the first demo of this was a while ago. Anyway, next up is uh, Dungeons and Kingdoms. This one talks about... It's by Uncle Grouch Gaming. You sold everything to start a new life in a distant land. Will you survive? So you start from crafting early stuff to managing a kingdom. The thing about this one that seems to catch my that caught my eye was the uh, like the blueprint. Here's the blueprint thing here. And so you are like you're crafting everything. You're 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 crafting. You're or you're building everything up piece by piece. And so every every village, every every town. What am I trying to say? Every house is all kind of custom made. In addition. Uh, you're also making, uh, so you've got constructed using module, modular building system. You're like, um, there's 500 unique building pieces with hundreds more to come, it says. Um, you can, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, trying to read here and remember what, what was in here. You're, you're custom, it's all about, like, customizing things. And, and building your place up piece by piece. Uh, this one doesn't have a date on it. Custom building from the ground up. Modular buildings coming soon. That's what I got for my list. There you go. Uh, next up, we have Rise from the Ashes. A fantasy world simulator. 
This is the one. So I got I was getting this one and the last one mixed up a little bit. So my on my notes here. Uh, this one is is custom style, but even more so than that last one. Last one you're building your custom uh, houses. Uh, this one, uh, fantasy universe, build your towns up. How do you want to build your towns? That's that's what the game is. It's do you want to have like you you would define your architect architectural style. Uh, you customize your people. You manage your town by like changing I think your banners and things. Um, it's all about customizing everything. And so you you want like Tudor style houses or do you want hobbit holes? That's sort of all in there as well. Um, I guess apparently some sort of combat in there it doesn't show much. This one's still I think a ways off. Um, Strategic city building game. Customize your civilization in every detail, it says. Define its architectural style using a building editor and choosing the appearance of your people and the organization of your armies, among other things. Sounds cool. I want to play it. Thousands of Daggers is developing this one. So, all right. We made it. Last one. And and it, it wouldn't be a, a video on my channel if I didn't have something involving dwarves. So for the final video, final game on my list, we have King of the Dwarves, Underground City Builder. That's what it is. That's all there is to it. It's a 3D dwarf fortress builder. But not dwarf fortress. You know, you get on what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. Uh, there's no world map. There's no running around. None of that nonsense. You just build your town. Occasionally things come and try to chew on you. You send your armies out to go and chew on them right back. And you build yourself uh, an underground city kingdom colony become the king of the dwarves this is by tag of joy uh it does not have a release date but it's dwarves and look at that guy i don't know if that's gameplay but that looks pretty cool we'll watch some more of this so there you go that's, that's it that's it that's what i've got on my list so far these are all games that are not out yet um few demos out there but these are these are all city building colony building that aren't haven't come out yet that i'm looking forward to there you go if you have any questions ask away i will do my best um i won't do my best i will do it i'll put all, if on youtube so when this goes to youtube i'll put tags in there or not tags but i'll i'll, I'll time stamp the video uh bits for each one of these if i don't time stamp them make sure you yell at me and i'll do it actually uh if if i do time stamp it uh, YouTube likes it when you say things. So say like, "Good job timestamping," and then and then YouTube will appreciate that. <clears throat> but that's it. That's my list of of city builders I'm looking forward to. If you like this thing, maybe I'll do more. But like, grand strategy games I'm looking forward to, or strategy games I'm looking forward to, and and, and simulation. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But there we go. 